Yeah, man, see all prisons and all that. Yeah, how? Wash them, wash them, wash them, wash them, wash them. Double and the apostles to the elders. You know, great men stone. Shalom to all the brothers and all the people who show up in our sincerity and all honesty. You know, um, this is a brother from James, um, Jamaica camp. Um, yes, am I? Sure. I war. I don't want to speak for you know um, the stench and you know, basically you see the continent of the basically a bill. You know, especially from you know the whole Ukraine invasion take place. Right because we, we understand and we know that you know according to prophecy, you know, Russia will play a very you know important role in the destruction of America. And you know, we see tension been building, you know, things eating up. Right, and you reach a certain level, and you know, you know, really escalate because it's all about prophecy. And this, and we now do things, uh, things that happen, you know, in our time, that, you know, you how about Shemir Shai type because certain things have happened before this war, you know, kick off. We understand that, like, one of the main prophecies, the MOTB, it has basically become monetary right across the world, you know, before this war kick off full fledged. We're very close to, the, to that time, you know, in this prophecy. Gonna take place. The, the MOTV is gonna become monetary, and it's World War Three gonna kick start because it's a two million prophecy in you know, the years, you know, a decade. You could say they'll be waiting on, right? The MOTV become monetary. I know we've seen the framework now without a doubt. We seen the, 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 um, the MOTV, you know, prophecy, Revelation 13 and 16 and down are coming to play fully right now. You know, based off of the things that we see happening right now, even look at Jamaica, you know. You see how far even look at Jamaica reach, you know, in this thing. Right now, on the forefront, a small island. So very close right now. Right? You have a scripture, brother? Um, Revelation 7 and 1. Yeah. Spirit. It's in, it's in, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of, of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, Man. nor on the sea, nor on any tree. See? Yeah. What is that wind? Right? Nuclear destruction. You can remember the Jeremiah. I believe my Jeremiah 51, <laughs> verse 1. And then we can get back to that scripture. Jeremiah 51, and verse 1. This is Jeremiah 51. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. So, thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. And Babylon basically speaking about America today. Right? The daughter of Babylon. What? And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me and destroy a destroying wind. A destroying wind. Right? That basically nuclear wind. Or you could say shock wave. You could destroy everything in your part. That is that destruction that are destroying wind that will take place, you know, very very soon. Right? Go on. So, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the, in the day of trouble they shall be against her on the boat. Um, against him that bendeth, that the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his and, and Revelation 7 and 2 it says And I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to earth, the earth and the sea saying earth not the earth neither the sea then nor the tree till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So that's the reason why you know all hell no break loose already. Right? Because it's all about prophecy. Right? As I mentioned, you know, certain prophecies have come to pass. You know, before this war kick off full fledged, but we're very close right now. Right? So the angels basically are work on the mind of these leaders. Okay. Right? And all these people, you know, basically do what they're supposed to do so, make the prophe so the prophecies then can come you know come to pass right so very close but you know certain things have happened before um this war kick off full flesh as the as scripture say as the scripture say until uh, the elect is sealed Gun. so it's all about the elect 
And we in that time right now, that's the reason why you see things eat, moving so fast because we actually in the time now when the ELIP, you know, basically, I get sealed, right? Things are moving fast now. Right, brother? It's um, an article from RT News, 15th of June. 2023 says US sends more fighter jets to its Middle East. In says um, the US military has sent additional fighter jets to the Middle East after accusing Russia of increasingly unsafe aircraft activity in the region, um, including during several incidents in Syria. In says F-22 Raptors with the 94. Fighter squadron have have been deployed from Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, according to Central Command um, CENTCOM, which oversees U.S. military operations in the Middle East, Central Asia, and parts of Africa. The decision was a part of um, multi uh, multi, -fa multi faced faced multifaceted um, show of U.S. support and capability in the, in the wake of increasingly unsafe and unprofessional behavior by Russia, by Russian aircraft. Um, CENTCOM, CENTCOM said in a press release on Wednesday, Pentagon officials have accused Moscow of reckless flights over U.S. base in Syria in recent weeks with CENTCOM Chief General Eric um, Corilla claiming there has been a significant spike in provocation action since March. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> reacting again. So you know them the angel them the angel them have them um provoke each other down them man. Yeah. Provoke the, Put uh, in their mind. Yeah, provoke the main gun. Right. Soldiers and uh, even these leaders. This is Joel 2, verse 20. One. Say, um, but I will remove far from, far off from you the northern army. We're talking about the American army. So Can? the American army going to get brought to the Middle East, you know, around the Persian Gulf, right, you know, very, very soon. Something big going to take place because that's where, you know, this war will start in the Middle East. So America going to, you know, do what they always do, run in. Right, but this time around, now go, now go basically, you know, um, get a scotch free like you know, you know, war, World War One, World War Two fight in can, America, can. you know, can. see if you know go up this time around, right? So the maroon go to the Middle East. So basically, what scripture say go take place here, right? But I will remove far off from you the northern army, what? and he'll drive him into a land barren and desolate. Well, this is Saudi Arabia, what? Which is faced towards the East Sea. Towards the, you know, the Euphrates, you know, Persian Gulf water, Euphrates, case are turned. So the military, case are turned towards you know, the Euphrates, you know, what? what? Yeah. And it's in the path towards the uttermost sea. Gone, it's basically the Red Sea, right? Gone. And his thing shall come up. Gone, so this American soldiers ain't gonna get destroyed in the Middle East in the near future, according to prophecy. So all the provocation, they say, Russia, you know, I do and all this thing. because you know, America been you know doing them thing, you know, for years, you know, do the best, use them machine, they provoke on the machine, you know, to justify themselves, you know, for do certain things, right? Because they might, them, they might, they want you know, determine what right and what wrong, about the police with the earth, Good. but it's a way to go lead to because this is basically a prophecy, right? And, and it's possible, really, that you know, um, same, okay, same, same, same um, bring it up from brother. Sure. I will go back to this. Sure. Um, Isaiah 55 and verse. Oh, Isaiah 55 and verse. Yeah, spirit out. We can go back to this one. It's, um, Isaiah 55 verse 11. One. It says, um, says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. You can't say, to pass it, Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Right? The true name in the Hebrew says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. One. Uh, it shall not return unto me void, Run. but it shall accomplish that which I please, Run. and it shall prosper in the thing where, where I sent it. Where into I sent it, so everything will come to pass. Right? 
So it's kind of prophecy. The American military are going to run into the Middle East, you know, in Saudi Arabia, and they're going to get destroyed. I can't do this prophecy. Right? What again, brother? But I will move, remove far off from you the northern army. Can't, so this is what they should take place. Right? The American and military going to the Middle East. Go on. And you'll drive him into a land barren and desolate, on. which is faced towards the East Sea, on. and he's in the part towards the Ottoman Sea. And his thing shall come up. So his thing gonna come up. So the lot of them gonna get put to death. They're right, gonna get wiped out. What? And his ill savor, savor, shall come up because he had done great things. Because he had done great things. So the judgment is coming. Right? As people say, what? when they shall cease, you know, from spoiled. from be spoiled, they shall be spoiled. They shall be spoiled. Of course, in scripture. Right. So all the doings you see, they're doing right now and you know the whole back and forth between you know them and Russians and it's gonna lead to this. Thing. Right, so big of a happen and they're gonna send it, send their military in the Middle East and they're gonna lead to their destruction. Right, because according to prophecy, America gonna get invaded. Right? Russia gonna invade America in the, in, in the time to come very very soon. So, yeah. Yeah. Back to the article, it says, it says, it says Moscow has um, similarly, similarly, similarly accused Washington of unprofessional behavior in Syria last month, where Admiral Oleg Gorinov, deputy head of the, the, Rush, the Russian Center for the Recon Reconciliation of Warring Parties in Russia, in Syria, said, American warplanes continue to commit gross violation of the con uh, the conflictions protocols. It says U.S. Air Force. It says U.S. Air Force pilots continue to activate weapons systems when approaching in the in the air with Russian aerospace forces forces aircraft. It says. Performing, um, it says, performing planned flights in eastern Syria, the official added. Yeah. So see, when they go, um, they must say Russia be, the provocation. Russia said they must do the similar thing. Mm -hmm. They must make provocation. They must harm their weapon. See, so they must say like, hey, um, they must, they must do them things. So anything, anything can go off at any time. When I something get kicked off in the Middle East at any time, man. In. But you know, as we say, you have prophecies where you get fulfilled before certain things. You know, with the um, basically Israeli, Israel, Farming and Iran thing, you know, forming of the world, all these things, mm -hmm. yeah, they will come to pass. But you know, the Lord just a, a spice up things, man. Then make things keep active. <laughs> See? Uh, Isaiah 13. Um, Isaiah 13. It's Isaiah 13 and 4. It says, um, it says, The noise of a multitude in the mountain, like as of a great people, then a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the hosts of the battle. And so even the father of the one here brings color bring destruction to this society. See? So all we see happening right now on the earth, right, both the good and the evil, is all in the even the father. Right, we see America doing right now, you know, even without going to the article, even in Syria, only to one thing, the destruction as I mentioned, because you all doing the even the father, even the one in control. Right? Not no, I'm randomly. Can. Um, it says they come from a far country. They come from a far country. The ICBM missiles, them, they're coming from a far country. Especially from Russia, China, right? Europe. Even these um, Europeans are going to turn them back on America. Right? You have um, North Korea, right? India. All these countries have the missiles, they want to shoot it on, on America because these ICBM missiles, they want to basically create it to show off with a parade. You know, I've been parried, you know, and shoot, shown off. They create for a purpose. Right? Yeah. Scripture tell that Lord created the smith that blow it the coals in the fire and that bring it forth an instrument for his work, for Israel. So they're going yeah. to basically 
play a very important role in time to come. He's ICD himself. He's going to to them as the Lord's army. Right? So they're going to basically come at America. Give us a what? Not one I'm going to miss. Yeah? Go on. Go on. He says, they come from a far country, yeah. from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation the Lord, to destroy yeah. the whole land. So even the whole Lord and Savior, how is shy? He's going to make him a rival and he's misses fire on the earth. Right? Fire off on America. And also the land of Israel. The how is is coming in to basically deliver him elect. Right? Go on, brother. Yeah. He says, he, he says, hold he. For the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah. It says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, Can. and every man's heart shall, shall melt. Can. So there's going to be a total different mindset from now. Because you know, you have you know, people who you know, they feel blue right now, do what they will. But when the time to come, it's not going to be that way. You know, man I said, No God, no day, all type of thing, you know. Trying to you know, debunk the Bible and all these madness that's happening now in this society, especially over this West. In the time to come, it's going to be total different mindset. People are going to bug the hell out. Especially Jake. Lose it. Right? Go on, brother. He says, and they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. Go on. They shall be in pain as a woman that travail it. Go on. They shall be amazed one to one at another. Because so if I say they're going to be like a woman in a trivial pain, like a woman that basically like give birth in a cry. Right? So so imagine man a man cry like a man So if a man that cry, that's weird. Like how a woman that give birth. I ever hear all about basically a baby for the, um, the hospital. Right? Imagine what's going to happen in the time to come. And we live that time now when, you know, a lot of these men, you know, all these young youths who grow up in the society and basically feminine. So imagine what's going to happen in the time to come. When all the hell break loose. Right? One. That means one at another, their faces shall be as flames. One. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Because it's, what? it's the time of the Lord vengeance, Scripture said. This is the time of the Lord vengeance. Right? Yeah. Um, fierce anger to lay, the, to lay the land desolate. One. And he shall destroy the sinners there up out of it. So he's going to destroy the sinners. So he's going to say, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Okay. Right? So all who, you know, a part of the selected um, two-third number, they're going to get destroyed in, in the land of America. So if I tell us that um, in all the land which is the land of America, two part therein shall cut off and die. Okay. And three are going to lift the country to the fire. Right? Um, so Joel 3 verse 9 it says proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near so all the men of war are going to draw near where? in the Middle East all the armies are going to gather for this final showdown right? go on He's in. Um, let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into, prune, into swords go on. and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I'm strong. Go on, the weak nation say I'm strong. Go on. Go on. Like you know, Iran and them country, and Iran and them have hypersonic missiles you now and all them different things. Eh? Go on, and them yeah. Israel get, get so ready, ready to attack Iran. Yeah, so they're ready for war. Go on. Yeah, all them are prepared for war, man. We should go back to prophecy. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm in mean prophecy to also. You know, here, here, um, the people say the least of the flock are draw them out. Go on. So we're seeing that the time talk of attacking Iran. She's right. And we'll lead to, you know, World War III. He says, he says, assemble yourselves and come all ye in Eden and gather, gather yourself together round, round about Tida. Come up, you know, come up to the valley of decision. Go on. Right, go on. Cause the mighty ones to come down, O oh Lord. Cause the mighty ones are the angels. And basically, they are the one where, as they as say in Revelation 7, they are all the, the four Holy. corners of the earth. Yeah. So they are play upon the minds of all these men over there, man. They didn't forget them to do what they do. Give them all the, 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 the intelligence um, to build them up on them. Eh? See? See, a lot of them do them, the mighty works. He says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Valley, this valley. Yeah. Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew, the house judgment. Your heavenly yeah. father is going to judge all his nation for the good of us as a people. In the valley of Jehoshaphat. For a dear will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, 
For the press is full, the fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. Yeah, wickedness of the, the so-called white man is great in the earth right and now. And the level that we reach is very great. And the heavenly father is getting ready to you know, put an end to all the madness you know, that these are you know, be doing now for years. That's what the heavenly father is getting ready to do right now. Your house, your house, your house. Put an end to all the madness you know, of the society. But the society needs to go. Right, the level of madness. Right. It says, um, it says um, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, Done. for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. In the Middle East, that's where the war is going to start. Right. That's the valley of decision yeah. where, where everything is going to get decided, man. <laughs> it says, Jeremiah 15 verse 11, To make bright the arrows, gather the shield, the Lord had raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. Man, the Lord had want to raise up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. The modern name Medes are all the Russians. Right? You know, Putin he is basically the leader of Russia right now. So he's a king. So the Lord using the angels as the brother going on earlier. You know, basically work on the mind of his leader. Even Putin, right, as basically leader. Right? Because a king. So he's a king for Russia now. Can. So he must throw up Putin's mind come against America because I can't the prophecy. The scripture tells us that something gonna happen. They will cause the Russians them. I can't what with Ezekiel 38 say they shall think an evil thought and they shall go up to the land of the world villages of America. So something gonna happen. They will basically cause you know the Russians them to make a move on America. Right? Swift move. Run, run. Run. For its devices against Babylon to destroy it. To destroy it, what? Because it is the vengeance of the Lord. Because it's what the vengeance of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father, your house, it's the vengeance, theme vengeance. And the vengeance and of his temple. Done. Done. So that, I say all praises and honor to your house. Bashim, Yashar, Bashim, Yashar, Bashim, Double honor to the apostles, the dealers, the believers. So, Shalom to all the brothers and I can't push, you know, soon to go out of this society. Shalom also to the few sisters out there. Yeah, shalom. Shalom.